Hello everybody, it's Sherry with Palette to Palette. Today I'm going to show you how to put together our arch window display that is going to be an interchangeable. Interchangeables are very popular right now, so I'm putting together a couple different um, things that we can use as interchangeables, and I will show you what I'm talking about here. So um, we're going to paint, we're going to assemble, and then I'll explain a little bit about what the interchangeables are. So um, you're, you're going to get all of this um, in your kit. Um, and then I always use um, a paper plate and some makeup wedges and some baby wipes. If you've seen any of my videos before, this is pretty much what I use. Um, I do have touch-up brushes and, and things like that if I'm doing some detail painting. But some of this... Um, but this one doesn't require anything like that. And you can get um, any crafters um, acrylic paint um, to use on these projects. And I like to use wood glue. Super glue also works. E6000 will work. Um, and this design is more for um, an interior wall space. You're not going to want to put any of my projects outside in the weather. I do make a lot of door hangers, but they're not meant to be in the rain or in the snow um, on a covered porch is fine they hold up really well um, in between the storm door and a screen door or a storm door and your main entry door is usually okay it, um, as long as there's an overhang and they're not in the constant sun or the constant rain or the constant weather um, so with that being said we're going to move on so i'm going to i want my window box to be um to be white. So I like the farmhousey look and I probably actually should do it cream, but I'm going to do it white and I'm going to do it with baby white. Wasn't sure what I was going to do it with until this very second. So I just dip, uh, I pour my paint on a paper plate. Um, you can use whatever you want to put your paint on. Foil works really well too, actually. Um, and then I dip my sponge in and then I I dab my sponge. Sometimes you'll see me um, wipe. It depends on the project and um, what I'm trying to accomplish. So with this one, I'm going to paint the, um, the whole background white, and I am going to do some swiping on here so I can get it get it on here. It works um, works really good if you're dabbing it too. You get a little bit of better coverage. This is the background piece, so it's okay if a little bit of brown is showing through on this for, for my taste um, because I like that farmhouse rustic, rustic look. So I'm not going to be too worried about this part because once I put this on here, you're not going to see very many um, of those pieces anyway. So I'm just going to keep getting paint and loading that on my sponge and that the reason that I dab it back off after I get some on there is because I don't want globs to go over the ends right so I don't want big drips of paint every time I swipe if I swiped it across the edge here I would get a big drip and I don't want that so I dab or offload um, a lot of the paint after I reload it onto my sponge fancy words, right? Reload, offload. But that's the way that I do it. So these are the techniques that I like to teach. Looks good up top. I'm going to start down here. Give this some color. And then after we get this painted, we will start on some of our other pieces. And then we will start assembling. <clears throat> and then I'll show you what I'm talking about with the interchangeable pieces. So interchangeables are very popular right now because they're an easy way um, to decorate. Doesn't take a lot of room to store them. You can show that you're festive without having to get out 
20 totes of decorations. Um, you can change them out for the holiday or the season or um, special occasion. And um, you can change them out as often as you want or as little as you want. If you're just into farmhouse decor and you just want to have farmhouse decor pieces inside your interchangeable arch window display, then just, you know, grab my, my windmill and um, farmhouse stacked animal file and I'll cut that out for you and you can paint that up and put it together and that's all you have to display in it. Um, I've got several different farmhouse type um, files, but the possibilities are endless when you're using interchangeables. And I'm still designing a lot of files, but right now I have um, some fruit files. So I have some straw. I have a strawberry um, file. I have a lemon um, interchangeable set. I have a couple different farmhouse style ones. I have summer themed, spring themed, fall themed, winter themed, Christmas themed, Halloween, um, Mother's Day, Father's Day. I already said spring, fall, um, summer, winter, um, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. And I am open to suggestions for making more because I know that there are things that that you're into um, that I may not be or um, like I know there's a lot of people right now that are into um, baseball, t-ball, um, softball, and I'm not. I don't have any kids or grandkids that play baseball, t-ball, softball or anything like that right now. So I'm not into it. But if you want a softball themed tiered tray or a baseball themed tiered tray or hockey, um, you know, you just got to let me know and I'll get it in the works. So, and I never know if you want me to talk through the whole video or if I should just be silent and paint. So because I want this to be kind of rustic, I don't think I'm going to go over that with a second coat. I think I'm going to be okay with the way that it looks like that. I'm going to be okay with that. So I'm going to leave that like that and get rid of my white sponge that turned dirty because <laughs> this is burned wood. So I cut this on my laser. And that is how it cuts. The laser cuts through it and burns it. So, um, so it is um, a little dark on all of the edges always. And when you're rubbing it like that, it will take off some of that char. So that's why my sponge looks so filthy. But it is what it is. I need more white paint. I'm going to do my box white too. I don't have to paint these because they are spacers, and I'll show you what I mean in a moment. But I am going to get a little bit more white paint. And I think I got enough life left in this sponge to do this. And then I am going to use wood glue. And this doesn't need a hanger because that center um, spot on it will hang um, right on a nail and it'll already be centered. So no point in trying to figure out how to get a sawtooth hanger or something on, on this piece. We don't need it. Okay, I like that. All right, we can move right on to these. And when you're painting with a sponge or a baby wipe, it usually dries pretty quickly, um, so that you can you can usually move right on to the gluing something, like within you know 30 seconds. 
I just was touching up my window panes a little bit. Okay, get that out of there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all three of these on top of each other. So I'm going to give it a little bit of glue. Go all the way across it. And where, where I have a couple of um, dobs of glue or dots of glue, I'm just I'm going to push those down a little bit because I don't want it to drip over the edge. That looks good. So I'm going to put another piece right on top of that. So what's going to happen here is, so this is our spacer. We want to make sure that it lines up nice and good with the other piece. I'm going to give it a little bit of pressure so it can start to attach to the other one. And then I'm going to come in and put that third piece on. So the piece going all the way across is going to act as the shelf for the interchangeables to sit on. Why is this one giving me grief? Get on there. Okay, that's a little tacky now. So it's starting to attach. And baby wipes are handy for so many things. I paint with them and I clean with them. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put some glue on the top of this one so we can get the third one up here. And I've got enough glue, so I'll wipe off the excess. Whoops, I dropped my baby wipe. <laughs> So this is going to be um, a base piece that you can use for interchangeables. I have others, so you can check my information for that if you're not, if this isn't your style. You don't even have to paint this one at all. Um, you can if you want to. It's just the edges that will be seen. So the edges um, where the laser actually cut the wood are um, a brown color. I'm okay with it. I'm going to leave it the way that it is. I'm going to put glue on that third piece now. Um, but you'll see that this is um, it's three layers thick. And I'm going to put this other piece on there. This is our front piece. I'm going to glue that right on there. Oops. <laughs> not with paint, I'm not. I need the glue. So I'm going to do more glue so I can get the front piece on. Then I'm going to glue the whole thing to our window frame. So when you glue this on, you want the short legs down, the tall legs up, and the stars are where the tall legs are because you don't want to put it on this way because then that bar shows through the hole. You want it to go on this way, okay? So with your short legs down and the design at the top. So what we just did was we created a shelf for our interchangeables to sit on. And actually, I'm not going to glue this on yet because I just realized I need one more piece on the back of here to make up for this piece is going to be glued onto the window. So I just realized that we, we need a fourth piece on here. Then we will glue that right here to the bottom like that. 
And so what's going to happen, let me, let me glue this on, let me glue this piece on. So I might have too much glue in a couple spots on here. I'm going to go, go through with my finger and try to even everything out and make sure that there's not dribble. <laughs> I don't want any drips of glue. And I'm going to compress it down so it stays. I'm going to um, clamp it because it's a this is a big area to glue so you want to after you get this glued on to the to the back piece you might want to um, stack some some heavy cookbooks or some glass bowls coffee glass coffee mugs something heavy um, to hold it down so the way that this goes on is this point touches that point right at the center and then it starts um, coming in all the way around so that the top points match up. Okay, so what I need to do is um, put some clips on this to hold it together and I like to use when it's just two layers of wood, you can use clothespins. So I'm going to do that, and it's still going to allow me to show you <laughs> what I want to show you while it's drying. As long as you can overlook <laughs> the clips. Okay. So we've got this clipped together and it will dry and I will actually put more um, pressure on it when we're done with the video. But for the video's sake, I wanted to show you what I'm talking about. So once we have all of our layers on here, and I'm sorry that um, I didn't have um, the fourth one cut for the video, but there will be four in, the, in, in your kit. So you will glue that onto the bottom. So now we've got this um, adorable um, arch box with a slot in the bottom, right? Check check me out up there in the little in the little screen. And what we can do with that, and I actually will flip you around now. What we can do with this is put our cute little, I'm going to do, try to do this backwards. <laughs> Every, this is why we need a fourth one, because this is two layers thick. <laughs> and the only space that I have in there is two layers thick, because I've got this as a layer pushing it out. So that takes up the space of one of our spacers. So, I'm just going to pull that out a little bit, because it's not actually glued on. Um but we can put some pieces in here. And I'm going to do this one for summer, right? Will they stay? I don't want them to cover up the sun. However, we can get this guy in there. There we go. So we can put some pieces in here to decorate. These are the interchangeable pieces. So they can come out and you can change them out every month or season or holiday or whatever, however often you want to change it out and it can hang on the wall. Now, the other thing with this, and I didn't show you that yet, is it's going to come with these two pegs. You'll glue two pegs into, can't do it backwards, into these slots. I can do it without actually gluing them to show you, I think. The designs will come with something on here that can hang. So, um, hello summer with this one, right? 
or um, USA with uh, 4th of July one. Um, a welcome sign. Um, a home sweet home. You know, all kinds of different um, designs that will go on a plaque that can hang on it as well. So that is how we put together our arch window box with the additional layer that I forgot to cut. And I will see you right back here next time. Have a great day.